It's a chilling fact that during World War II, a bomber plane was shot down every 15 minutes. Yet in the face of such staggering odds, a new breed of aircraft emerged, defying the statistics and rewriting the rules of aerial warfare. These were the plane fortresses, the titans of the sky, the behemoths that dictated the course of the war. In the early days of the war, aerial warfare was a game of speed and maneuverability. Fighters like the Spitfire and the Messerschmitt ruled the skies. Bombing missions were dangerous and often fatal endeavors, with bombers being easy targets for the nimble fighter planes. It was a dire situation that called for a radical solution. Enter the plane fortress. In the late 30s, the first of these aerial leviathans, the B-17 Flying Fortress, was born. Conceived by Boeing, it was a plane like no other. Armed to the teeth with machine guns and capable of carrying a colossal 6,000 pounds of bombs, it was a flying battleship, a fortress in the sky. The B-17 was not alone for long. In the early 40s, Consolidated Aircraft unveiled the B-24 Liberator. It was larger, faster, and could carry an even heavier bomb load than the B-17. The Liberator was a force to be reckoned with, and it quickly made its presence felt on the battlefield. In the mid-40s, the last of the plane fortresses, the B-29 Superfortress, made its debut. It was a marvel of technology, boasting features like pressurized cabins, remote-controlled guns, and an unprecedented bomb load of 20,000 pounds. The B-29 was the pinnacle of plane fortress design, a fitting end to the lineage. These plane fortresses played a crucial role in World War II. They carried out strategic bombing campaigns, decimating enemy cities and infrastructure. They dealt a severe blow to the Axis powers, sapping their ability to wage war and ultimately paving the way for the Allied victory. However, the plane fortress's legacy extends beyond the war. They laid the groundwork for the modern bombers, setting the standard for size, firepower, and versatility. Today, the descendants of these fortresses continue to rule the skies, a testament to their enduring influence. To summarize, the plain fortresses were a turning point in the history of aerial warfare. Born out of necessity, they emerged as the dominant force in the skies during World War II. The B-17 Flying Fortress, the B-24 Liberator, and the B-29 Superfortress, each of these aircraft left an indelible mark on the war and shaped the future of aviation. They were more than just planes, they were the titans that ruled the skies, the legends of World War II.